Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 78th Q tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Uh, moving right along in our graphics series, um, today we're going to cover gradients. So, just put it in the usual place, and of course, Q dialog. Next, next, finish, finish. Um, if you're just jumping in for the first time, I have to apologize. I'm still recovering from the flu. So I may sound a little funny and I may have to pause the video a couple times. Uh, we're just going to add and include a cute core and an include to cute GUI. And we're going to add a few other includes here. Whoops. I'm going to add a Q linear, Q linear gradient. And then we're going to, of course, include Q radial gradient. And we're going to include cute, and I can never pronounce this one correctly, conical gradient, Q conical gradient. If anybody can pronounce that, send me like uh, an MP3 or WAV file or something. All right. I'm going to override the pain event. go and then we got our nice beautiful paint event here. Now first thing of course we need to do is make a painter object. So Q painter. I'm sure you're probably if you've been following along rolling your eyes going, oh my gosh, we get it, we get it. Now we need to make our gradients. And gradients are actually brushes. Um, look over here on the left here. You see this how it's gradient? It starts dark and then it goes light. Um, that's a gradient. So you've been looking at gradients this whole time and maybe didn't realize it, but all a gradient is is a it's a fancy brush. So we're going to make a Q linear gradient. And we're going to call this grade one. And I'm just gonna type in some magic numbers here and you're gonna have to follow along for the time being. And 175. And I know these numbers because I've done this tutorial before. And we're going to say grade one, and we're going to say set color at. And what set color at does is we're defining a gradient. It's going to go from dark to light, and we want to give it certain points where it changes color. So we're going to say 0, 0. .0. We're going to say cute white. And if you're wondering what in the world I'm doing, don't worry. I was very confused the first time I read the tutorial on how to do this. Um, I'm going to just copy and paste this here a little bit. Two, and then we're going to say at 1.0. And we're going to green and, of course, black. What we're doing is we're defining our gradient. We're going to say at 0, 0, it's white. At the 0.2 mark, it turns green. And at the 1 mark, it turns black. And then we're going to make a Q rect. say 10, 10, and we're going to make this 200. We've got a nice big rectangle here. Painter, and we're going to say fill rect. And we give it our rect, and then we give it our brush, which in this case is the, you guessed it, grade one. Save and run. After it's done building, we should get a nice big rectangle on the screen. Maybe. There we go. And there we go. There's our linear gradient. Now, linear means it goes in a line. It starts here, it goes here. And here's those numbers we we're talking about. Zero, zero, right here, white. And then at, you know, point two, it starts green. So here's point two. And then black is at one. Actually, I think one's down here. And it does the math and makes the colors. Now, you're going to have to kind of experiment. Um, that's what I was talking about with magic numbers. Is you're going to have to kind of experiment a little bit with these numbers here to determine how you want these to look. Like if we set this to, let's say, 5, save, run, and let's rebuild this and see just what happens. You notice how 5 is right in the center here. There's our green. All right. 
Now what we want to do is we want to make a different kind of brush. So we're going to say Q, Radial Gradient. And Radial Gradient is a little bit different. So we're going to say Grade 2. And the first thing we need to do with the Radial Gradient is give it a point. So we're going to say Q point. And we're going to say 100, 100. And then we need to give it a radius. because you know a radial gradient is different and we're just going to switch these brushes out here real quick just so you can see the difference here what a radial gradient does that's a radial gradient notice how it's much much different we defined our center point right here at 100 100 and then we've given it a radius of 100 and it does the gradient from there and that that becomes 0 that becomes 0.5 and that becomes 1 little confusing I understand it took me a while to get this um, I did not grasp this the first time I went through it so don't beat yourself up if you're having a hard time following along um, the cute documentation is usually very very good and I don't like to criticize but this time I did kinda wonder what the heck I just read I just kinda looked at the documentation and went what I don't get it so we're gonna make another point and we're going to say 100, 100. Whoops. And we're going to give it a 10. And this is our conical gradient, I think that's how it's pronounced. Alright, now if you're wondering about the linear gradient, I believe this 175 is the angle that it draws it at. We can play around that in a second here if you want. Just want to show you what the Q conical gradient looks like. Whoop. No matching function. What did I do wrong here? Hmm. Oh, silly me. There we go. Should fix the problem. So that is our conical gradient. And I don't know if you can really see it very well, but it does kind of go from white to the dark. I guess because we played around with our numbers a little bit. Let's throw this back to a 2. Mm, no. Let's give this a 100. Just for the sake of argument, see if that fixes the problem here. Nope, still didn't. But you notice how it went from at 10 it was here and at 100 it was here. That kind of, it's the angle that starts in. So that is the uh, Q conical gradient. Um, obviously having a hard time getting that working. Let's switch back to the Q linear gradient because I believe that's really what most of you are going to be looking at and using in your projects. Instead of a 175, let's just set this to uh, 90 degrees see what happens here. Yeah, you can see how it, it goes at 90 degrees now. 175 was kind of across. Let's put it at zero just to see what it does. Yep, there's zero. And you can look these up in the help system. And like I said, the I mean it's very descriptive help system, but it kind of left me wondering what I was reading. Um it took me a while, I'll admit that. It took me a couple reads through this to figure out what they were really talking about. But I would recommend you read through this and hit a couple other sources at the internet. Uh, Google is your friend. And just kind of get familiar with some of these and see what they're talking about and how they work. Because they have different styles and different things. Like you can do what are called spreads. This is a pad spread. You know, or a flex spread. It's kind of like a chrome. And then a repeat spread. So this is Brian. I hope you found this tutorial educational and entertaining. And uh, thank you for watching.